Hello, I'm Deborah Jason with Creative Whispers of the Heart. And today I'm going to demonstrate a technique known as pointillism. Pointillism is a style that dates back to the late 1800s. It's a lot of tiny little dots. And recently I saw a greeting card that had an image on it with all those little dots. And I thought, I can do that with alcohol inks. I'm gonna use four different tools. It'll be a little applicator like this from Tim Holtz. I will use a Fantastics applicator. I will use a tiny little micro applicator for makeup. And then I will use a paintbrush. So let's get started, shall we? So the first thing I'm doing is taking some vineyard from Ranger Ink and dropping it on the paper. Then I add alcohol to the applicator, not to the paper, and I start dabbing it. I'm using some Kirkland photo paper here, and you'll see I just continue to dab the ink. The more that you dab it, the tinier all those little spots will become. I just keep going back and forth with the applicator. You can see now there's tiny little dots all across the page. Next, I took some denim, and again, I poured some drops down on the paper, added alcohol to the applicator, and started dabbing. You can see with these darker colors, it's easier to see all the tiny little dots. Now I wanted a smaller space to be covered. So I didn't use the applicator from Tim Holtz. I used this tiny little makeup applicator. I put some ink into my palette, let it dry for a little bit. And now I'm taking the makeup applicator and doing tiny little dots all across the page. As you might imagine, this took me some time, so I have edited and sped up the video so that you can see what I'm doing without watching every single second. So I'm just taking, this is watermelon from Ranger Ink, and tiny little dots, dipping it in the palette off to the side. There is no additional alcohol added to the palette. Okay, that's just ink in there. Occasionally, I will dab the makeup applicator in some alcohol just to clean it a little or to make that red ink in the palette get activated. So dot, 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 just keep dotting away until it's all across the page. And then I'm filling it in. I want some of the red to mix into the blue. And just keep dotting, 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 dotting. Till it's all across where I want it. Now what you see is I put some yellow, sunshine yellow, down on the paper as before with the vineyard and the denim. Put ink down on the paper, then added a new pad onto this applicator tool. Put alcohol on that and I'm going across the page back and forth, back and forth. You can see on one side, they're not very tiny dots. So the more I keep dabbing the applicator, the smaller the dots become as the ink begins to dry. Just keep dabbing. Now I'm gonna create mountains or a little hillside across the bottom of the page. For you, it's at the top of the screen. For me, it's the bottom. I put some Everglades in the palette, letting it dry a little, I took a paintbrush and created those green lines that you see, and now again I'm using the makeup applicator. Tiny little green dots to create the mountains. I started with the paintbrush just to give me a sense of an outline of where to put the mountains. In some cases you'll notice the mountain ends up a little higher than that line or wider than that line, but at least I had a guideline to follow as I put all these dots down on the paper. So again, just dabbing that makeup applicator into the palette. Not using much alcohol here at all, just using the Everglades ink from Ranger. I do use some alcohol when that ink starts to dry too much in the palette, just a tiny little bit.
So, as I mentioned earlier, this takes a little bit of time going back and forth and back and forth, creating all, I don't think this is how the artists did it in the late 1800s, but I might be wrong. So I'm filling in the hillside with the little makeup applicator. Now I have a basic outline and I'm filling in a little bit more dot, dot, dot. And then what you will see me do, because I wanna fill up the bottom space of the page. Again, it looks like the top for you, but as I'm working, it's the bottom. So I'm getting the outline of the hillside done. And then in order to fill up the rest of the space at the bottom of the page, I will go back to using the Tim Holtz applicator. You'll see that at this point, when I take the Tim Holtz applicator, I have added some alcohol to the applicator and just begin dabbing. I didn't add any more green. I'm pulling from the green that's already on the page and going back and forth, dabbing the applicator again to get that dotted effect as I draw the ink down on the page to fill up the bottom of the painting. Now, I take a break and I take the brush. I wanna create sort of a little horizon between those peaks. So I've taken a brush with just a little bit of alcohol on it, and then I'm pulling from the green and creating a little bit of space where you see the white I want to fill that just a little bit with some of the green so it looks like the hillside behind the darker hills, if that makes sense. <laughs> so just this tiny little paintbrush. Occasionally you'll see in the palette I have a little bit of alcohol or I put alcohol on the brush directly, dab it on the paper towel, and then I can pulse, reactivate some of that green ink and create the lighter color between, the, I guess you'd say, the peaks and valleys of the hills. Now I'm adding even more dots. This is with a white Posca pen, creating stars kind of in the sky. This painting is kind of a mix of sunset sunrise over the hills, but I wanted stars. So I am going over and over and over with a white Posca pen. There's no rhyme or reason, just taking my pen and creating dots all over to make it look like stars and to create more of that pointillism effect. Going down into the denim, <clears throat> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you can see this can be very time consuming, but I'm just taking my pen and going over wherever I feel inclined to go. Now I'm taking the pen and kind of going in a little circular motion, not creating circles, but dotting in a circular motion. So I have little star clusters in the corner there. So just dotting around in a circular motion, not actually creating an outline of a circle. When you see me lift up my pen, I'm just pondering where to go next and what to do next. But you can see all those little white stars. And now I'm taking the Posca pen down onto the yellow. It's a little hard to see when you've got a white pen on the yellow background, but I am dotting away in the yellow and that little strip of red with the white Posca pen. wanting to kind of make it blend all together so that the stars are shining throughout the piece in tiny, tiny little dots. Going across the whole page, not on the mountains, but in the blue area, the purple area, the yellow area, just dotting away. You can see now I added a crescent moon. I took a Fantastics 
to remove some of the purple, but it still was kind of dull. So I took my Posca pen and now I'm highlighting that crescent moon and filling it in so the white is a bit brighter than it was when I removed the ink with the Fantastics. So just filling in that crescent moon. You can see all the stars that I have there, but making that moon a little whiter and brighter on the painting. Still not done, need to touch it up a little bit more. And now here's the Fantastics. So the Fantastics is a little brush tip, not quite like a paintbrush. Um, and I have just touched it uh, in some alcohol, not soaked it, just get a little bit of alcohol in it and I'm pulling the yellow down so that I don't have that stark white space between the yellow and the green of the mountains. So I'm just dabbing, adding a little bit of alcohol on the pen, wiping it on my paper towel, and then again, pulling down some of the yellow into the white area. The alcohol that's on the Fantastics will reactivate the yellow, not very brightly, which is what I wanna achieve. I just want it to be a light shading so that it kind of fades in from where it is now down toward the mountains. I don't know if I should call them mountains or hills. Whatever you like to call them works for me. So just as you see, dotting with the Fantastics pen and pulling that yellow down into the peaks and valleys of the hillside. I'm using the Fantastics with it's what's called a brush tip even though, like I said, it's not a brush like a paintbrush, but it's a cool little tool that I can just dab into the alcohol, clean it off every so often if too much color gets on it, and continue to fill in that space more readily. You can see it's getting a little yellower in between the peaks of the hills. And just dabbing and dotting away. Now I took my Posca pen again and filling in some more dots because again, this is called pointillism. So I want to have dots throughout the piece. If you search pointillism online, you won't see paintings that look like mine. I'm adding some streaks here for shooting stars up in the skyline. That's what you see me doing with the pen right now and some more dots around the moon because I left that space free of dots before I put the moon in and now I'm filling that in. Now I take the applicator and I'm ready to continue filling in the bottom of the painting. And you saw I just added some alcohol and again, I'm drawing from the green that's there. I'm not adding any green. I am just dabbing with the applicator and filling in the space at the bottom of the painting. going from one side to the other and filling in that whole area with the applicator and just dabbing away. Sorry, it was kind of out of the camera lens there now and you could see it a little bit better as I dab and dab and dab some more with the applicator. As you can see, now I'm filling up the bottom. It's almost all full. But when I'm done filling the bottom, it feels like it's not dotted, not pointy. <laughs> there, you can see it. But I still want to fix the bottom. So I go back to the Fantastics, add a little bit of alcohol to the tip of the Fantastics, and start dotting away so that the bottom of that photo Excuse me, it's not a photo, it's a painting. So the bottom of the painting gets more dotted. You can see it just kind of looks blurred at the bottom. So I want it to be pointed. I want it to have dots. So I'm using the Fantastics and dipping it in a little bit of the green because I want to darken it up as well. And the green is in the palette there. 
and the little bit of alcohol that's on the Fantastics will reactivate the green in the palette and I can add some more dots to the bottom of this painting. So there you have it. Here's what it looked like when it was all done. Streaks of shooting stars at the top, lots and lots of dots. Like I said, it may not look like pointillism from the late 1800s, but it's my version using alcohol inks. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please remember to like, comment, or share. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a million for watching.